Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from Northlight Images and in uh, a couple of videos I'm going to be covering an issue which I get a lot of questions asked me about and this is where do I sell my prints? I want to sell my prints. Um, how can I make use of my prints? How can I make some money out of them? You get the general theme. The thing is, the main answer is to that is not where do you sell your prints, but who do you sell your prints to? And it's some aspects of that that I'll be having a look at in this and uh, another short video. And I said, it's who buys your prints that count. Just because some friend of yours has gone, oh, that's a great print, you ought to sell them. Do they know people who buy prints? You probably don't know yourself even. When did you last buy a print of the sort you're trying to sell? That suggests you actually probably haven't a clue who actually buys them. Sure enough, you can give prints away. Um, you know, I've run out of relatives and friends with wall space to take prints because of all the prints I produce through my printer testing and everything. But when it comes down to it, it's about marketing. Simple example. Here's a picture. Now this is the, some beach huts on the beach on the Suffolk coast at uh, Southwold. Now, there we go. Nice, pretty looking picture. It's a bit twee for my liking. Um, it's bright colours. It's the sort of picture people will put up in their bathroom, people will put up in their kitchen, whatever. Now, this is the same place. I grew up on the Suffolk coast. And to me, this is a much more accurate recollection of what it's like. Uh, this one with the tiny little bit of blue sky and the tiny bit of colour in the picture, um, which is, it will brighten up, honestly, much more matches up to my recollections of holidaying on the Suffolk coast. However, when it comes down to selling prints, Cheerful is much more likely to beat dismal. Now, what does this mean in terms of actually selling prints? It means that you have to think about who's buying your prints and that cheerful sells. And what it means is that just because you like a picture best, better than another, I much prefer this, this dismal looking one, um, that other people may not. Now, I've tried this when I printed this a few years ago and had some copies and was uh, giving them away. People who knew the Suffolk coast went, yeah, that's, that's got it, that's right. Whereas people who just wanted a decorative print, like that one. Now, notice I said just want a decorative print. That's in some ways putting down the quality of these prints. And that's a wrong thing to do, because when it comes down to it, the people who buy your prints are right. The old adage that customers are always right. Another thing is, they have to be local, local cells. So, this is the pier at Cromer on the North Norfolk coast on a nice day. Um, People like pictures like this. This is a picture that would sell much better in Cromer than somewhere on, say, Cornwall coast. Likewise, Suffolk, this would sell much better locally. This comes down to where you're going to sell your prints. Now, a lot of people ask me, oh, what online servers can you recommend for selling prints? And my honest answer is none of them because the people who make prints, make money from selling prints online, are the people who run the stores that sell the prints. Um, they are mostly vanity projects. Um, don't assume that just because you sell a print means that uh, you have a successful print business. It doesn't work. But anyway, just a few other bits and pieces. I have to say there's another video I'm going to be making about this as well. Um, these are all fairly large prints. Um, small prints often sell better. It's a borderless print. It looks very nice stuck to the wall, but think about framing it. Um, you're going to lose some when you frame it, unless you mount it directly. 
Similarly, if you have a liking for panoramic prints, this is this and the boat here in Amble, the Northumberland coast. How are you going to mount these? And then when we get to panoramic prints, like this one, just north of San Francisco on the coast, yeah, it looks great. I really like it, but I was there. Um, there's very little market here in the UK for interesting looking images of the US. Now, let's say I got some people in the US want to buy this print. That's great. Um, it's gonna cost a fortune to ship it particularly if I do larger versions. But anyway, that comes down to the fulfillment side of things, which is something I'll look at in, a, in another video, the, sort of the economics of it. But basically, if I had to say one key thing for people who want to sell their prints is understand your potential customer. What do they want? Sometimes that may not match with what your favorite print is. Mm, tough, get over it. Um, are you in a business? or are you an artist who values the purity of their work? If so, expect maybe not to sell so many prints. But anyway, that's a very quick look at some aspects of uh, print sales. Hope it's of interest, um, and I will do a few more of these videos if, uh, if people like them. So uh, thank you very much.